So this question is the inequality x squared plus 3x minus 10 is greater than 0. So the way I solve this algebraically is I solve it as an equal. x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals 0. We could solve this with a quadratic formula. We could solve it with completing the square, but I think that factoring would be the simplest strategy here. So here's x squared, here's negative 10, and here's plus 3x. x times x is x squared plus 5, then is minus 2 plus 5x, minus 2x is indeed 3x. So we get x plus 5x minus 2. And if that equals 0, either x plus 5 is 0 or x minus 2 is 0. So we get x is negative 5 or x is 2. You'll notice your inequality sign here is greater than. And so what that tells me is, is I'm going to use open circles for each of those. So here's negative 5. Here's 2. Open circle, open circle. Now what I have to do is I've got to test numbers in each interval to see if it's true or not. So between negative 5 and 2, 0 is located there. So that's the first one I'm going to check. I'm going to plug that into my uh, inequality here. x squared plus 3x minus 10. Is that greater than 0? Is 0 squared plus 3 times 0 minus 10? Is that greater than 0? 0 plus 0 minus 10. Is negative 10 greater than 0? No. So I'm not going to shade here. Beyond 2, what's a number that I could try beyond 2? Well, you could try 3. So if I go ahead and I plug in 3, what do we get? Again, plugging it into x squared plus 3x minus 10 greater than 0, what would that give me? 3 squared plus 3 times 3 minus 10. Is that greater than 0? That's 9 plus 9 minus 10. Is that 18 minus 10 is 8 greater than 0? That's yes. So if it's yes, we're going to shade on that interval. So this interval gets shaded. So going from 2 all the way to infinity. And then beyond negative 5, maybe we could try negative 6. Again, plugging it into x squared plus 3x minus 10, is that greater than 0? So that's negative 6 squared plus 3 times negative 6 minus 10. Is that greater than 0? So we get 36 minus 18 minus 10, is that greater than 0? 36 minus 18 is 18 minus 10 is 8 greater than 0. Again, that's yes. So we're going to shade uh, on that direction as well. So looking at this, what do I have? I have two intervals, two disjoint intervals from where to where, from negative infinity to 5, union from 2 to infinity. Notice the round brackets. Why the round brackets? Because again, open circles because of the strictly greater than. Now, there's ways the calculator can help us do this. So let's go ahead and jump to the graphing calculator and go through the process. So one thing that I can do is I can plug this in. So I'm, I'm looking at x squared plus 3x minus 10. And you recall how I plugged in negative 6. I plugged in 0. I plugged in 3. The graphing calculator is a really good tool for doing that. 
if I go second table set and I go down to ask, I can just plug those numbers in second table. And if I plug in negative six, when I plugged it in to the equation or the inequality, I received eight. And we said that was greater than zero and indeed it is. When I plugged in zero earlier, my result was negative 10. I said it was not greater than zero. Again, negative 10 does it for me much quicker here. And then I plugged in three and that does it again, you can see it. But I wanna look at one more thing here because our original question was what, our original question was x squared plus three x minus 10 is greater than zero. Can we see that on the graphing calculator? So if I do a zoom decimal, I'm probably not gonna be able to see everything I need to see. But I can see it crossing at two, and I can see it crossing at negative five. So let me adjust the window a little bit. I think I need some more y. Maybe I'll multiply these by three times three in the y direction, leave the x alone, times three. And I'll graph it so we can just get a better idea of this picture. And the question is, when is that function greater than zero? Well, zero, y equals zero is here. You can see it's greater than zero for this part of the parabola. And what are the x values on this part of the parabola? Starting at two and going to infinity. It's greater than zero on this part of the parabola. Where is that? One, two, three, four, five, uh, from negative infinity to negative five. So let me go back to my screen because I noticed a small error on my paper here. Of course, that interval notation is negative infinity to negative five union two to infinity. So just to clarify that, the question was x squared plus three x minus 10 minus 10 is greater than zero. We solved it as an equal. We found it was equal at two and at negative five. We tested numbers in each interval and found that it was true on this interval and on this interval. We also saw the graph on the graphing calculator look like this, where this was negative five and this was two. And you can see the graph was a greater than zero to the left of negative five and to the right of two. So in interval notation, we have negative infinity to negative five round bracket union two to infinity. 